Well, actually, ASEAN is getting more important in the globalized world. So basically, ASEAN should have more uh, being, being looked out by other regions such as Canada. So basically, this fellowship really gives a Canada in particular and the whole world in general what is ASEAN is through our research. So basically, through this fellowship, we can actually enhance the cooperation between ASEAN and Canada by giving more evidence, more issues that should, must be concerned by Canada and ASEAN itself. Well, actually, there are two things that ASEAN needs to enhance their regional community. First is the involvement of non-state actors, the network of people, academics like us, and other non-state actors out there. And secondly, the research-based uh, evidence that can give a policy recommendation for the directions of the future ASEAN regional integration. And I think this fellowship really serves these two issues. First, it gives us a network of young researchers so that we as an ASEAN citizens can have a network of young researchers anywhere within the country, within the region, and also with Canada. And the second thing is that it also gives the policymakers a recommendation based on the research so that the ASEAN can actually have a good direction in order to build its regional community. I think this fellowship gives us an opportunity to voice our concerns about ASEAN, which issues that are really important for ASEAN to solve through research-based evidence. And moreover, this fellowship is also enhanced our research capacity through field research. You know, not all of our researchers, especially the young researchers, have a capacity or opportunity to have a field research, but this fellowship really gives us an opportunity to do that.